boys and girls, are you ready to go on another reading adventure? Let's see where we're going to go today. Take a look at my clues. First of all, I'm in a tent, I'm wearing a funny hat, and I have a backpack. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. Oh, of course, I have my favorite friend Liz. Say hi to Liz, everybody. Oh, I'm gonna put you right here, honey. I have a water bottle in case I get thirsty. I have bug spray. Hmm. I have this lantern. Ooh, let's see what this is. A map. Ooh. And a snack for later. And a book. Today's book that we're going to read is Take a Hike, Teddy Roosevelt. America has had over 40 presidents. These four did such big things that their faces are carved into Mount Rushmore. Have any of you ever been to Mount Rushmore before? You might not recognize the third guy. His name was Theodore Roosevelt, but people called him Teddy. If it weren't for Teddy, people would have destroyed many of America's forests and other national treasures. This story is about how Teddy protected America's environment. Teddy was born in 1858 in New York City. There was a lot of pollution and Teddy had asthma, which made it hard for him to breathe. To help his lungs grow stronger, his parents took him to the country where the air was fresh. His parents told him, take a hike, Teddy, and so he did. Teddy rode horses, he swam and rode, he climbed trees and hiked hills. Exercising made his lungs and muscles stronger. Teddy believed the outdoors helped save his life. Teddy loved being outdoors and was interested in wildlife. When he was hiking, he took a notebook. He observed animals and insects. He wrote down everything he noticed about them. Teddy didn't stop there. He started collecting insects and animals. He kept spiders and ants and ladybugs in his bedroom. Teddy called his room the Roosevelt Museum of Natural History. Do you think your parents would be happy if you kept any ladybugs and ants in your bedroom? Soon Teddy's little museum became too big for his bedroom. He had a litter of field mice in an ice box. He tied a snapping turtle to a sink in the laundry room. His frogs and snakes escaped from boxes and buckets. Liz, I don't know if I could handle that. That would be a little too much for me. Once Teddy and his friend Fred were out collecting animals, Teddy found a frog, but he had run out of room in his boxes, so he put it in his hat instead. Soon a carriage came by and stopped. It was Governor Fish and his wife, Mrs. Fish. Fred tipped his hat to say hello. <clears throat> Teddy didn't want to be rude, so he tipped his hat too, and look what happened. The frog jumped out. When, <clears throat> when Teddy went to college, nature was still on his mind. He studied natural history and zoology. He kept animals and insects in his college room. He even shared his room with a giant turtle. His landlord wasn't very happy. Teddy wanted to do big things one day, but he wasn't sure that studying animals and nature would help him. So he decided to study government instead. After college, Teddy worked in the New York state government, but he missed being outdoors and he still suffered from asthma. He remembered what his parents had said, take a hike, Teddy. So he did. Teddy left for the American West he rode horses and raised cattle, and he studied the stars while he wrote about them in his notebook. 
After two years of living on the frontier, he had gained 30 pounds of muscle and his asthma was gone forever. But something else happened to Teddy. In the West, he saw that people were using too many natural resources. They were chopping down more trees than they needed. They were building railroad stores and towns. Some of the most beautiful places in the country were being destroyed. There was something else that bothered Teddy. Back then, people hunted wild animals for food and for sport. But Teddy saw that people were hunting more than they needed, and some animals were in danger of becoming extinct. Do you know what extinct means? That's right, there are no more left. That would be really bad. Hmm. Millions of bison once roamed wild. When Teddy arrived in the West, there were only about 300 left. He knew he had to do big things to help America's environment. Teddy decided to start small. He went back home and worked to become the governor of New York. He protected the forests. He passed laws to help stop pollution in the city. In 1901, Teddy became America's 26th president. No president had ever made protecting America's environment important, but Teddy did. Teddy and his family moved into the White House. As always, his new home became a mini zoo. Teddy and his children had lots of pets. Rabbits, birds, guinea pigs, ponies, cats, dogs, a badger, and even a bear named Jonathan Edwards. In 1903, Teddy visited the Grand Canyon for the first time. He thought it was the most beautiful place in the world. Then he found out people were planning to build hotels and stores there. Teddy wanted people to see the Grand Canyon's natural beauty forever, the way he saw it for the first time. After he, his visit to the Grand Canyon, Teddy knew he had to do something. He had to protect America's great outdoors. He started signing bills to protect America's wildlife and large parts of its environment. But sometimes people tried to stop these bills. This didn't stop Teddy. He signed a law that gave him the power to make any land a national monument. Then Teddy found out that birds were in danger in Florida. People were killing them and using their feathers in their fancy hats. Hmm. Teddy asked if there was a law that stopped the president from protecting, protecting this land. There wasn't. Very well then, Teddy said, I so declare it. Teddy had just made America's first wildlife refuge. Now no one could stop him from saving America's natural resources and wildlife. Teddy created five national parks. 18 national monuments, 150 national forests, and 51 bird sanctuaries. When he was done, he had protected over 230 million acres of land forever. Now go visit one of these great places and take a hike, just like Teddy. I hope you enjoyed our story today about taking a hike. <laughs>